Jada is back at it here. Give everyone another Walking Dead Season 7 episode review video. But before I get into that, it's extremely important if you're not caught up to the point where I am in rewatching or watching The Walking Dead that you pay attention to the episode title, which I'll put in the description for you. If that's the case and you find out that you're not caught up, I suggest, and so does everybody else, that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. This will be The Walking Dead Season 7, Episode Number 4. The title of this episode is called Service. This will be my review, reaction, recap of the episode. And keep in mind, it's an episode I've seen a couple times. Just reviewing it to have it on my channel reviewed. And reviewing it due to the fact that they announced that Season 11 of The Walking Dead will be the end of the main Walking Dead show. At Alexandria, Michonne takes a hidden sniper rifle and leaves for a field which has a burnt-out car to practice with weapon, with the weapon. A walker eventually approaches, and she misses it several times, because Michonne's a terrible shot, she's used to her sword, and eventually decapitates it with her katana, as I said. She finds one of her stray bullets hit a deer, and she carries it back to Alexandria. Meanwhile, Negan and his saviors, including a captive Daryl, have arrived earlier than expected at Alexandria to collect half of their supplies. Now, Rick says... They've already set out half of their supplies. But Negan retorts and says he gets to determine what they take as they are providing a service to the community. He orders his saviors to search the homes, taking their beds. Dwight forces Rosita and Spencer to collect Daryl's motorcycle from a nearby woods. And then while outside of Alexandria, Spencer expresses his concern that Rick is not more accepting of Negan's rule and Rosita or Rosita recovers a gun and they find Daryl's bike and then as they wait Negan taunts Rick over video footage taken from when Rick's group first arrived at Alexander when he had the monster beard when he got to Alexandria and he asks to see his sick girl Maggie then all of a sudden Father Gabriel appears out of nowhere and asks Negan if he would like to pay his respects to her tricking him and th believing Maggie had died. Their conversation is broken up by a gunshot and they congregate to a community's infirmary. There, Carl holds a savior at gunpoint. Now, Negan is super impressed with that because Carl's got some big man nuts and likes Carl's bravery, but forces him to stand down and then demands to see the armory as Alexandra seems to have a lot of guns. Olivia shows Negan around the armory, and then he instructs them to turn over all the guns, including those Rick's group had stolen from the outpost that they had that they went to in uh, Season 6, Episode 12, Not Tomorrow right Yet. And then as the Saviors load the guns on their trucks, they find two listed in the inventory missing, and Negan threatens to kill Olivia, like it would have mattered, if they aren't returned. And then Rick and the other Alexandria members serve, uh, search through the uh, homes to uh, find them. And Rick discovers them along with a stash of food hidden in Spencer's room. And another point about this episode, Negan actually has Rick hold on to Lucille while he looks around and does what he needs to do. And I was just like, what the fuck? He's just killed two of my best friends. Well, Glenn, for sure. Abraham, he was just really, really getting good with. And then, yeah. So, interesting. Rick hated doing that, I'm sure. But it is what it is. And then with all the guns collected, the saviors prepare to leave Rick when Michonne, hide in one, hiding in one of the, the crappy-looking buildings outside of Alexandria, um... He sees her, and then he begs Negan for a moment and then goes to the house to convince Michonne to turn over the rifle, which was not in the inventory, and the deer for a better good. Appreciative of Rick's effort, Negan warns Rick that if they catch any Alexandrian with a gun, they will kill them. Rick asks if Daryl can stay, but then when Negan puts the question to Daryl, he remains silent. So Daryl doesn't want to say anything. He doesn't want to piss Rick off. He doesn't want to piss Negan off. And then after the saviors leave, Rick accuses Spencer of hoarding supplies while Spencer taunts Rick for his failure as a leader. And then later Michonne attempts to encourage Rick to fight. Rick tells her he cannot. He explains that he knows that Judith is actually his friend Shane's 
daughter and not his. That was a big reveal. I mean, it's not 100% accurate, though. We don't know if that's the case or not, but maybe Rick knows based on timetable. I don't know. Uh, but he loves her anyway, like his own, and wants to raise her and survive as long as he can to give her all the trips and texts or trips, uh, tricks and tips to survive in this world. And uh, they need to accept Negan's rule to keep living. The following day, while outside Alexandria in the same field, Michonne finds all the mattresses that the saviors took burned in a pile by the roads. So they didn't even really utilize those mattresses. They just took them away to take away the group's comfort. And then at night, Rosita finds and picks up an empty shell casing. She visits Eugene and ha requests that he make her a bullet for the gun that she has, that she just got. And that's the end of the episode. So I really enjoyed the episode with because there was kind of like a tense moments when Negan was looking for those two guns and he was, is he going to kill more members of the group again? We didn't know if that was the case or not. Turned out Spencer had them. I mean, Olivia wouldn't have really matter. No one gives a shit about Olivia. But the people that were at Alexandria initially, like Aaron, Eric, Scott, Tobin, those people would probably be a little bit upset, but I don't think Rick and the members of his group would really care. Um, Negan was really hilarious in this episode. It, it started to bring out his comedy side. You know, he was really serious in his first couple episodes, if you count season six as finale and the beginning of season seven, uh, with being funny. But in these years, more funnier and did all this leaning back and all that stuff. It was pretty hilarious. So... I'm going to give this episode an 8.1 out of 10 because it just isn't as solid as previous seasons, but it's one of the better episodes of season seven. Uh, obviously the finale, the, the, the uh, season premiere, and then a couple other episodes in this. So, and then my character of the episode, I could have gave it to Negan. I really wanted to, but you know what? Rosita uh, did pretty badass stuff in the woods to a bunch of walkers. So I'm going to give this one to Rosita, give her a, character uh, of the episode and those are my opinions now obviously it's time for me to hear yours so if you're a fan of the walking dead and you like this episode service from season seven go ahead and smash that like button and if you're a fan of the walking dead and you didn't like this episode but you like the walking dead make sure you smash the like button if you know anybody that would be interested in this share the video to them don't forget to leave me a comment with your thoughts on this episode or anything else Walking Dead related. And that can be your score of the episode, your character of the episode, your moment of the episode, or your favorite and least favorite Walking Dead characters and episodes. That's fine. I want to hear all about that. And of course, last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button, subscribe to the channel, join the team, show your damn support, and be a part of something special. And JDev will return. <laughs>